how we can use the dynamic DNS in PFSense. So I'll be going here to services and here dynamic DNS. So let me show you what services are available. If you click on add, there are variety of services which are available. One of the services which is popular is DynDNS, no IP and so on. But I'll be using Cloudflare. So I'll be creating a fully qualified domain name. I'm already having a website or a domain name called syncbricks.com. It's optional, of course, you can use any service. You can use no IP and process is extremely simple. Here you can just enter the host name, whatever will be there and simply enter the user ID, which will be here and the password, which will be here and save it. So it will automatically get the public IP of your PFSense and will assign it to the DNS name. But I'll show you here how you can use the Cloudflare. I'll be simply going here to Cloudflare DNS. I have syncbricks.com. So I'll be creating a new host name, which will be home lab. And here I'll be entering the IP address 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare DNS. And I will be simply removing the proxy and here I'll be saving it. So what I'll do now here, I need to make sure that I create the API key for Cloudflare. So how we'll do that, you can see here, if I go to the service type Cloudflare, of course, host name will be home lab and domain name is syncbricks.com and down here you can see the user ID and password. So for Cloudflare enter zone ID. So I'll be simply going here to the Cloudflare account zone ID. So I'll be copying the zone ID here and zone ID will be entered as a username and password the API token for the DNS edit. So I'm creating a new API token for zone which is DNS edit and what is included is specific zone which is syncbricks.com and continue to summary and create token. Now the token is created here. I can simply copy this and I'll paste it here in the password and simply mention here Cloudflare API and save it here. Here you can see now the dynamic DNS client is WAN and it is Cloudflare. It is active right now. We can use this for the public IP now. We can use this for the VPN in case you want to configure your VPN. So this was all about using the Dyn DNS in PFSense. There are multiple methods. One of the methods which I like the most is the Cloudflare. So you can also use if you do not have the your own DNS, you can create the no IP or Dyn DNS, whatever is available to you. So let's continue to the next video.